Hey guys, Eric again. Um, very excited about today's unboxing. So I got a, a package in the mail from Hasbro Pulse, and uh, it has two figures that I've been waiting for for a long time. So without further ado, we have the Vintage Collection Mandalorian himself. Open, I dropped her. Whoops. And Cara Dune. Um, these are part of... Technically, they are numbered uh, Vintage Collection 164 for Cara Dune and 166 for The Mandalorian. Of course, they have the typical beautiful Kenner-style packaging, the Kenner logo and the, the card art. Um, and, you know, the, the obviously the graphic for The Mandalorian show, which is fun to see that in the old kind of... Kenner Star Wars style. Um, the picture of the Mandalorian is great. Looks like it's from that first episode. And then Cara Dune, same thing. So again, with the the Mandalorian logo and the uh, the fantastic art on the back of both of them, they have the same character lineup. So as you can see, you have the Mandalorian, Cara Dune, the um, Remnant Stormtrooper, the Clone Wars Stormtrooper, the Avon Ceremony Leia, the, is that the Sith? Yeah, the, the Sith Trooper, the um, Shadow Trooper, and then the Jawa. Um, each figure is packaged with two blasters. So the Mando, Mandalorian gets his, um, his small blaster as well as his rifle. Um, Cara Dune gets her, her heavy blaster as well as her, her handheld blaster. So again, super excited about these. Um, the detail on them is great. You'll get a better look at them once we get them out of the package. So without further ado, you know what? We're gonna start with Cara Dune. So I know this is gonna drive a lot of people nuts because a lot of people love to leave these on card, but I open them. All right, guys. All right. Let them breathe, right? So let's have the blister. Let's get Cara Dune out as well as her heavy gun and her blaster. So first thing I always like to do with the small blaster so that that way I don't lose it because as you can see it's very tiny is I like to see how it fits in the holster and typical the vintage collection figures fits in there great so as you can see blaster goes right in there. Detail on her is fantastic detail and articulation they really got her um, her fighter build she looks fantastic. The new face technology that they're using on these smaller figures. Let's see if we can get it to focus on her there. Might be a little challenging. Uh, come on. If I move away a little bit. It's always a struggle with these smaller figures, but um, you'll get you'll get an idea of the face sculpt in the. Uh, in the photos at the end, but it is fantastic, down to the little um, Rebel Alliance symbol on her cheek. She has the tattoo across her arm here. The detail on her outfit is incredible, you know, down to, like, the little um, flourishes and, and, and little kind of metal accents on the chest piece here, as well as the belt, the back of the belt. Um, typical articulation, so she's got that Shoulder joint. Oh, let me turn around. She's got the shoulder joint. A um, little encumbered by her shoulder pads here, but my, not within reason. Um, she's got the elbow, the swivel at the bicep, swivel and pivot at the wrist. She's going to be able to hold her blaster, both blasters, with no problem. She's got great hands for it. Um, she's got the thigh swivel. She's got the bend at the knee. Rocker at the foot. Like usual. Overall, Fantastic, fantastic figure. Oh, and the waist. She bends, bends back, bends forward. You know, that little ab crunch that's on these vintage collection figures. Um, her head goes all the way around if you really wanted it to. Yeah, fantastic. On to her gun, or her blaster, excuse me. Not a gun, blaster. Um, almost reminiscent of like a, a Tommy gun with the, the way that the, the clip is built in there. But it looks awesome. It's got a strap so that way it can go over her shoulder. Yeah, fantastic. On to the Mando. Let's break the seal here. Man, I'm 
so excited for this figure. So not in the best Gar armor, but in the armor he appears at, in with the, uh, the, in the the first episodes of the show. Again, just the detail on this is fantastic. The helmet. Well, I might need to soften that joint up a little bit. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. All right. Um, as usual, bends at the elbows. It's got that great articulation. I love the coloring. It's almost seeing it in the figure. It's almost similar to like the Scarif troopers that that tan and teal. The cape is nice. It's a nice soft plastic. Um, moves really well on him. The different colored pads and armor pieces, breastplate, and you can even see there's some dings and dents on it, like it's been through been through the ringer. Um, of course, there's no, no surprises under the helmet, just a head. So his little blaster, of course, like I mentioned, always want to check to see how it fits in the holster. His fits perfectly, straight in. It's awesome. Um, the detail, fit and finish on these guys is just, they kill it. I wish they would produce more of them um, in this scale. And the focus has definitely been, as of late, the um, the six-inch figures, but these to me, our, our Hasbro, Kenner, Star Wars bread and butter. So these are fantastic. I absolutely love them. Um, I can't wait to take pictures of them and pose them with some other stuff. I was really hoping there would be some sort of pack-in with um, with the child, you know, some kind of surprise. There is not, but um, I'm super happy with both of these. Uh, definitely keep an eye out for them. They should be hitting shelves soon. Um, but they are readily available on Hasbro Pulse, at least they were today. We posted about it. Um, as always, follow AIC underscore podcast on Twitter and Instagram for toy news. Um, check out our latest episode uh, uh, of the podcast. Um, we're out every other Monday. You can find us wherever you find podcasts. Um, make sure you leave us a, a, a rate and review so that way other people can find us. And uh, here on YouTube, make sure you uh, you hit that YouTube subscribe button. It helps us out too. So until next time, I'm Eric, and these are awesome figures. Thumbs up. <laughs>